graph 3 sine of pi over 8 x plus 1. First of all, notice that the pi over 8, at there the plus 1 is on the outside, so that's my vertical shift, and I always want to take care of the vertical shift first. So remember, I always draw my x-axis first. I don't draw the y-axis in yet, and my vertical shift is 1, so it's going to be up here. That's going to be my center line. I'll even sometimes write y equals 1 over there on the left. Mm -hmm. And then the amplitude tells me another pe important piece of information right there. The amplitude equals 3, which means I go up 3. Oh, I'm going to need to keep save some room here now. I go up 3, amplitude equals 3. So 1, 2, 3 is right here. That's at where I'm going to be. And then down 3, 1, 2, 3 is down there. So this line is y equals negative 2. This line is y equals 4. Those are my max mm -hmm. and min lines. And then the only other thing that I need to do, fortunately, there's no horizontal shift. Or, yeah, there's no horizontal shift because there's, there's no plus or minus inside here. And so all I have to do is figure out the period. The period equals 2 pi over pi over 8. So the period, remember, how do I divide by pi over 8? I multiply, multiply by, by 8, over 8 over pi. The pi's cancel, and my period is, whoa, 16. Hey, not a big deal, because first of all, I can go ahead and draw in my... Whoops, let's do that again. I can go ahead and draw in my, my y-axis already. So there's my y-axis. And now I'm going to go... Remember, I like to, I like to go one two, three, four, right? So there are my five, there are my four segments. One, two, three, four. There's four equal segments. This is going to be zero because I'm not shifting it anywhere. This is going to be 16. Half of 16 is eight. Half of eight is four. Four plus eight is 12. So that's actually pretty easy. And now it's just a matter of putting the five points in the right place. Remember, this is a sine graph, which means it starts in the middle. So look at my dotted lines. Mm -hmm. It's going to start in the middle. It's going to end in the middle. And it'll be in the middle in the middle. And the only question is, does it start going up or does it start going down? Since it's a positive, mm -hmm. it starts going up. So right there is a point, And down here is a point. And now draw your graph in. And again, it keeps going. If you want to keep drawing it in, you can keep drawing it in. But a lot of times, they just want you to draw one cycle.